I felt I had to leave my parents' house in the middle of the night. And I was lucky I could drive, I had a car. And I, I um, ended up in New Street Station in just my pyjamas. I couldn't drive anymore. And I called a friend who lived in Coventry and they came and picked me up. There was lots of um, awful experiences that I went through with my family and very traumatising, <laughs> I have to say, and some of which I can't really even now talk about. When I finished university, my family wanted me to have an arranged marriage and I was absolutely fine with that. I had no hesitation about going into an arranged marriage. In fact, I saw it as part of my cultural identity. However, what happened was that I saw, me, I saw many men, I saw 30 men, of which three said yes and 27 declined. What that did to my self-esteem and confidence and sense of well-being is even now hard to explain. I came to a decision that the process wasn't working for me and I wanted out and I wanted to lead an independent life. My family, my parents, my siblings didn't, didn't accept this. I tried to demonstrate to my family that I could live an independent life. It, it all came to a head really when um, I decided to make a decision, my decision, sorry, to marry the person I wanted to marry some years later. And then I lost my family for 10 years. So they never came to my wedding. They, um, you know, when I was pregnant, they weren't around when I had my kids. I hope this story um, really helps other women and men who may be going through different forms of violence and abuse. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.